Yet again, the hadith is in Tirmizi. The companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is sitting down. And he says that I seen Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the masjid. He says I was looking at the face of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then I was looking at the moon. Then I was looking at the face of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then I was looking at the moon. Every time I was looking at the moon, my eyes were fixed on the face of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why? Because his face was more beautiful than the moon. This is the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the whole world should be following. This is the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Muslim of the 21st century should be taking as a role model. Why? Because Adam Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Shish Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Nuh Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Ibrahim Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Ismail Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Ishaq Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Yaqub Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Musa Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Yusha Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Daniel Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Yunus Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Ayub Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Dawood Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. Yahya Alaihi Wasallam was sent to one nation. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam surpassed a lot of them. And he was sent to the whole of mankind. This is the Messenger Sallallahu that the whole world should be following. The best of examples that ever stepped on the face of this earth was none other than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why is it that the Muslims are ashamed to act upon the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why is it that the Muslims of the 21st century are ashamed to act upon the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? If they are ashamed, to grow dreadlocks under the armpits and between their thighs, then why are you ashamed to keep the beard? If they're not ashamed to walk half naked on the streets, then why are you ashamed to wear the hijab or the niqab properly? If they're not ashamed to commit sin in public, then why are you ashamed to pray salah on the streets? If they're not ashamed to jump in the pool naked, then why are you ashamed to do wudu in the toilet sinks? This is who you are. You are the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And do not, do not underestimate Allah's power. Why? Because Allah indeed has tested people before you. Allah has tested the people of the 21st century. In foreign countries, people are killed, people are raped. Muslim women are forced to have intercourse with their own sons. Fathers are forced to have intercourse with their own daughters. Their skin have been peeled from their bodies. Don't make Allah test you people in this way. You've got Islam on your plate. You could practice Islam. Hold firm upon the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is who you are. So what? If we eat with our hands, this is who we are. So what? If we sit down and urinate, this is who we are. So what? If we grow the beards, this is who we are. So why if the Muslim women wear the hijab or the niqab, this is who they are? So why if the Muslim viewers use a stick to brush their teeth, this is who we are? We are Muslims and we are the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And never forget this. Never forget this.